here again. Don't tell them. No line this time. Well, line on the inside. We're back after a long break to show you guys something that New York is super well known for. Pizza! We'll be going to three different pizza places and to start off, you better be ready for a line because this is probably the most famous place in New York, Prince Street Pizza. I've seen this place many times in other reviews and many people have rated it as their first place for the best pizza or at least close to it. Their margarita pizza or their fancy Prince Street Pizza is my absolute favorite here because although the crust is thin, it manages to still be light and crispy at the same time and the cheese and sauce are really balanced and taste wonderful. Here we have their most popular pizza which is a pepperoni pizza and although it's not my favorite at Prince Street, I do think it's an experience that everyone should try at least once. Prince Street really knows how to keep their meat lovers happy because as you can see, this slice is loaded with pepperonis. Inside of the pepperoni cups, it may look like grease, but as we've seen in interviews, this is not grease and it's actually olive oil, so you don't have to feel too guilty when you're eating this slice. Our next stop was Joe's Pizza. We've heard many good things about it, and as you can see, the place has a lot of variety in the types of pizzas that you can order. We ended up just buying the margarita slices, and it took about 10 to 15 minutes to get back to the place we were staying, so that might have affected the quality. Overall, Joe's Pizza is still a good slice of pizza, however, for the price, and just because New York has so many other options, I wouldn't actually recommend here. The pizza was thin, but not as light and airy as Prince Street's. It also wasn't as crispy, but like I said, that might have been due to our travel time in between. The cheese was also a bit more on the chewy side. Now to introduce our last place, here's a small preview of an upcoming video we'll have on the Marriott Courtyard. And the reason I'm throwing in this preview is because the next place was literally a one minute walk from our hotel. 99 cent fresh pizza. The pizza was made fresh in the morning. And although you might think a $1 pizza place is bad, or only good for its price, I would say it's actually comparable to some top pizza places. Hi. This place only takes cash, so make sure you have some cash ready. And if not, there is an ATM inside for you guys to use. So as you can see, the prices here truly cannot be beat. You can get two slices of pizza and a can of soda or bottled water for only $2.75. And not to mention, that's a cheap, quick meal in New York that has even been featured in various articles. So we decided to just try the plain cheese pizza. There were some condiments on the side, so we added some red pepper flakes on top of one of the slices. And this slice is truly something you're going to want to come back here for. It's thin, crispy, airy, has a perfect balance of cheese and sauce, not to mention the cheese and sauce feels of good quality as well. After we left New York, although we really enjoyed Prince Street Pizza and Joe was still good, the one that we were truly craving was from here, 99 Cent Pizza. Okay, I know no one's probably going to actually watch this part, but I was so excited that on such a cold day, there was a pizza place so close to us, I filmed our whole walk there. So here's the walk in real time if you want to watch. Thanks. It only takes about a minute.